I am back with another plan with me video. I cannot believe that it's already time to set up the April spreads. I feel like I just set up the ones for March and here we are setting up April. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently or I'm going to do an addition to this one. Normally I set up the monthly and the weekly. I'm also going to do the dashboard page as well because I do offer dashboard pages in my shop. So I want to share with you how I would set that up using one of the two that I offer. So if you haven't seen any of my Plan With Me videos, we do this in a two-part system. And I don't have my little marker here. So I'm going to have to move back here and mark that, I guess. So I do this in a two-part system. There we go. So I'll put that in when we're finished. I will share with you the completed from the previous month and then we will set up the upcoming month together. So I am filming this on the 21st, which means that last week I don't have any of that filled out yet or most of it's not filled out. I think I've started a little bit, so, but you'll get the idea of how it's gonna go. So this is the March monthly. For the March monthly, I used mint and pink. And I love this kit. It's my brand colors, and that's why I wanted to use it for the monthly. Now, I will tell you, this is not everything that goes on during a month. But if I was to put every practice and thing that we did, you wouldn't even be able to tell it was a calendar. Because every single day would be filled with something, and that's just way too much for me. So if we have practices for the kids, like soccer, volleyball, that will go on the weekly spread. So, as you see here, I did not fill out the dashboard page, but we will do that for the April spreads. Okay, so this is the first week of March. This is the kit called Yum. I love this kit. So, I never know how a kit's going to look until I film one of these videos and I set it up with you. So, my stickers are offered in six different layouts. They are all formatted to fit the Erin Condren planners, but many people use them in other planners as well. If you're not a part of the Golden Circle on Facebook, definitely become a part of our Facebook community. That link is always in the description. People will share what planners they use with my stickers. So I have stickers that fit the 7x9 horizontal, the 7x9 vertical, the compact vertical, the 7x9 hourly, the A5 Daily Duo and the A5 Horizontal. So that is what I offer right now. And then I started selling notebooks or journals. I'm calling them journals. I started selling journals in March. Y'all just blew me away with how many I've sold already. So I'm starting to come up with the A5 um, whole page stickers for those as well. It's a slow process. So now we are going to the first week or the second week in March, which, which is Irish. So as you see, I set up my weeks the same every single time. The main reason I like to use a planner is for those to-do lists. And my planner is not beautiful. If you've watched my Plan With Me videos, I say this every time, you guys. It took me forever when I first got my Erin Condren planner to learn that it's supposed to be used I was scared to touch it, but now I will mark things out or cross out things. I will use white out because it's a life document and I treat it as such. It's ever changing. So this was Irish. Next week was Clover. So those were the two kits that I came out with for St. Patrick's Day. And if you hear a little tapping on the floor, that is my dog. She is in here moving around wanting me to let her outside. Third week is mint and pink. So this is what I am, this is the week I'm on right now. And y'all, I did not share any videos this week. So these two videos did not get shared. Let's just go ahead and mark those off. I will share those this next week. So I'm gonna write that in if I have, yeah, I do. So I can actually wipe this out. So this is cats. Love this kit, it's so cute. I like to come out with like different kits. Sometimes they're a hit, sometimes they are not. For instance, my um, soccer kit is not sold a whole lot, but I do have it for April, so I'm going to share with you what that looks like. Um, and I knew that wasn't going to be a popular kit, but I thought it was cute. So this is going to be the office one, and then we're going to do a bag video. Okay, so that is cats. So now we are moving to April. And for April, 
Move that to the side. And for the April monthly, I'm using afternoon tea. Y'all, this kit I love. So this is going to be used for the monthly, the dashboard, and the first week for um, April. I love it. So my monthlies come to where you can put any monthly sticker on it. So here's my additional sticker. So when you choose which one you want, they come in A5 and 7x9. When you choose the one you want in the month, I will add the monthly with that kit. So this is what we are using for the monthly for April afternoon tea. the April monthly finished and I have realized that I know what sticker sheet I need to come out with for icons for May and that is haircuts. So I know I have hair care but that has like a blow dryer, shower, haircut and all of that. I need just haircut because I want to put it in my sticker organizer over here because I could have used two of those stickers. The second and the 18th for mine and Derek's hair. And of course, I did not have that option. So I need to do that. So hair icon. You know, just for the haircut and stuff. I could also do a hair color one. Oh, hair color. Okay, so we'll look that up. Because I could do the hair cut here and the hair color here. All right, so that looks really good. So as you see, every weekend in April is booked. And we start, Kate finished volleyball in March. So now April starts soccer for Derek. Kate has track, but that's during the weeks. And I haven't got that schedule yet. I will put that down once I get it. But so he has soccer tournaments on the first weekend of April, the, night, the 20th and 21st, and then the 27th and 28th. And then he has ATA, which is Taekwondo testing on the 13th. So, I did use these icon stickers that I have in my sticker organizer. If you've not seen this video, I will link it in a card above. So, IC16 is the soccer ball. So, I always use those. And then IC56 is martial arts. So, I put that in there. And now I need to add the hair care too. Because, y'all know, um, I need that for these two days here. So, the shop will open on the 11th of April. And also, I need to do YouTube Live. Since Kate doesn't have volleyball anymore, we're going to go back to doing our lives on that Wednesday. So we're going to do YouTube Live on the 10th at 7 p.m. And my handwriting is not so great, but we're just going to put that on here to mark it. All right, so that looks really good. Love that kit. And I always save these because I will use these half boxes somewhere and these checklists. These fit the notebooks 
They also fit the sidebar over here. Next up, we're going to go to the dashboard page. So I'm going to actually talk through this one. So this might be a long video, so I apologize. So for the dashboard page in the last couple of months, if a kit has a monthly, it also has the dashboard pages. So you have two options for the dashboard page and for the seven by nine, you can actually do a combination of both. They will both fit. But for this video, I'm just going to use the dash page. I also have one that focuses on pay. So this is what comes on the dashboard here. So I can't remember how I did this one in the past, but we're just going to kind of work through it. So down here, this is what I'm using for my planner kits. So I'm going to go ahead and mark them. So you've got five different sections. So for the monthly, let me zoom in. This is where I like to mark the kits that I'm using that month. So for the monthly, I am using afternoon tea. Then for the first week, which is the first, I'm also using afternoon tea. For the 8th, we are using Pajama Party, and as you see, I'm abbreviating. And the 15th is Dream Cottage. I wish I had really nice handwriting, and I probably would have nicer handwriting if I would just slow down, but I don't. And then the 22nd, we're going to use the Soccer Kit. Okay, so that is going to fit right here. And... Uh, no. I was like, do I want to use something on the background? But I don't. No, I don't think I do. Okay, so that's going to fit right there. Okay. And then I have a sticker that says planner kits. So I'm going to put that there. Like so. I'm also going to come down. Let's zoom out. I'm also going to put this big one here down here at the bottom. And y'all, I want to come up with a tracker for the bottom. The only thing is, and why I didn't do it when I did these, is because this is going to have to have its own sticker sheet. Like, it's just going to be one solid sticker down here. So that's why I haven't done that yet. I like to fit everything on one, but for this, it's not going to work like that. Okay, then at the top here, I am going to put the little books and for this, I'm just going to put to read up here. And then as I get books read, I'll just mark them here. Just a second spot to mark different things that I've read. And then we're just going to put the big one, big sticker down here. Okay, I just don't want to get my head in the camera. Okay, and then I also have for that, if you want to put like to do... I've got the little to-do down here. And then I, let's see, I'm going to get an April sticker and put that over that. Let's just put like to-do up here. Ta-da! And I just randomly grabbed this. It's fine. So that looks good. So I can mark, mark the books that I'm reading up here. Any to-dos that I want to like keep a reminder of over here. So that is using the dash page. And as you see, I've used almost every single sticker off here. So... That is how that works. And now we're going to go to the weekly. So for the first week, we are going to use, I need to put all these stickers that I've used to the side. It's getting all mixed up. Okay. So for this first week here, we are going to use the afternoon tea kit. So for me, I have a horizontal. And for the weeklies, I use three sticker sheets. Every week I use H01, 02, and the deco sheet. So that is what I'm using for this week here, afternoon tea.
week one is now done and it looks so cute. So I love the purple in this kit. So I have all of these that I'm gonna save for later. Have this and then most of this is used. Oh no, that was the, that's the monthly, excuse me, where's the, here it is. So most of this is used except for some of the checklists. So that looks really good. So today you're watching Plan With Me. On Wednesday, I will share the office organization part two. I'm actually gonna film that after I'm filming this one. And everything else is good for the week. Now I do need to go ahead and mark down Derek's hair appointment for the second. So Derek here just so I can throw this sticky note away at 3.45. And that's all for the time being that I'm gonna write down for that. So once we get to this week or right before it, I will fill that in. So now we're going to the second week. For the second week, I am using Pajama Party. So this is one of those kits that I wasn't sure how it was gonna sell, but you guys seem to like it. So we've got pizza and pajamas and games and coffee or cocoa, nail polish. This has popcorn on it. So it's just a cute little kit. Lots of pastel colors. Love the deco for this one. So of course for this week I'm using H0102 and 04. Now if you're not sure which um, sticker sheet goes with what planner, Anytime I have the weekly listed, it will tell you what like H01 is, what is 02, what is 04, so you know what sticker sheet is formatted for what planner. So Pajama Party is what I'm using for week two. That turned out so cute. I love that. So cute. And let me mention this. I'm not ever sure if you can tell when I'm laying down stickers. Y'all, sometimes they don't lay down right and I have to pick a sticker up and lay it back down. My stickers are repositionable and my, my planner is not perfect. The stickers are not laid down perfect. Sometimes they're not completely straight. Sometimes it will bother me and I'll have to change it, but other times it doesn't. So I just wanted to mention that. So this looks cute. I did pull from this Blossom Extra Sheet here that I had in my sticker organizer, organizer if I can speak, for the 8th and the 10th video topics. So I did not want to pull just a 
extra sheet from this kit. So this would be PAJ EXT. I just wanted to pull from something that matched pretty well so I wouldn't have to use a whole sticker sheet because I did not need that. I had lots of extras, so it blended perfectly. So now we're going to go to the third week. For the third week, we are using Dream Cottage. So I love this kit. I think this is the kit I'm going to use for the monthly for May. So cute. Love the colors. I'm normally not like a yellow person, but the yellow is beautiful in this kit. So that is H01. Zero two and zero four. Look how beautiful the deco is. So Dream Cottage is what we are using for week three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself. Or I could be someone. So it's so different than all the other kits that I have used this time, but I think it's adorable. I love all the colors and everything about it. And guess what? My battery is now dead, so let me switch it out and then we'll move to the last week. New battery. So I did want to mention one other thing before we move to the last week, and that is I did pull from, I think, Afternoon Tea for this sticker and Cottage for this sticker here. So they blend perfectly. I didn't have to grab a new sticker sheet, so that is good. So now we're moving, and I'm not sure at this point what videos are going to come this week. It's all going to depend on how much of the office organization that I get done and all of that. So now we're going to move to the last and final week, and we're going to use soccer for this one. So this is not a popular kit in my shop, and I think it's so cute, but not everybody plays soccer. So Derek does play soccer. As you see, April is full of soccer tournaments for him. So I wanted to use it. So this is H01, 02, and 04. Love the deco for this one. So that is our last week, and that is soccer. And the last week is now finished, and I think it looks so cute. I love all of these colors together. Love, love, love it. And I forgot to mark here my hair appointment. So my hair appointment is on the 18th, so... So I don't forget, and it's at the bottom of the page, and it's hard to write at the bottom. Does anybody else struggle writing on the bottom of their planner pages? I struggle with that really bad. So I actually used two half boxes here from a kit I had a long time ago. So I think that's almost all the stickers on that sticker sheet, actually. So that looks really good. So now we're going to go back and I'm going to share the completed for March and the prepped 
for April. And I'm not going to have a common question this time. I want you to ask me any planner questions that you might have in the comments below. And if I have enough questions, I will do a Q&A or I will answer those underneath your comment. So this was the March monthly. This is mint and pink. And the shop will open back up on April of... Uh. So this is... So for the March monthly, this is mint and pink. Yum is for week one of March. Irish. Clover. I don't remember saying that. Did I say clover in the beginning? I don't remember. Mint and pink. This is the week I'm on right now. I'm filming, filming this on the 21st. Next week is cats. I think this is so cute. And I also have a small dogs kit as well. Now we're to the prep spread. So April monthly is afternoon tea. So the shop will open back up on April 11th at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And that is the goldprojectshop.com. That is always in the description. The dashboard page is also, this is the dash page, and this is also afternoon tea. So any kits that have a monthly will also have those dashboard pages. Week one is afternoon tea. Can you tell that's one of my favorite kits right now? Second week is pajama party. Third week is dream cottage. And then last but not least is soccer. So if you have any questions about planning or anything, leave those in the comments below. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you give it a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. And let me tell you, YouTube's doing its thing again. It's not sharing my videos as much as it was. And it's not just mine. I'm noticing, I don't know if you guys are, y'all let me know. I'm not seeing content from the people that I subscribe to, even though I watch their videos. So it's getting very frustrating. I'm not sure what's going on with social media as a whole, because Instagram is the same way. So, Still, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you've not. So I hope you guys have a blessed week and until next time, bye you guys.